Passing, uh, we got Inkling versus Zelda, wave A pools, I'm assuming. Uh, yep. This matchup's actually not that bad. Zelda can really keep out Inkling, uh, which is a super big strong suit for her. Uh, granted, it's Inkling, she's a very good character, and most would argue that Inkling beats Zelda for obvious reasons. Uh, but Oppressive Zelda can hold her Yeah, Zelda can hold her own. Zelda can kind of break that movement that Inkling has to really close gaps. Does like um do you know if the Phantom uh will hit Inkling while dashing when Inkling goes uh, under? I think so. I'm pretty sure because it's it does a very a big sword. Swoop down, yeah. yeah. It's kinda hard with the dash to actually like block the or to like dodge things. Like Wolf Laser, you have to time it pretty pretty tightly. But even though. Uh, Riot uh, is actually very good at like making use of Phantom, and it does not. Yeah, often. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Call that. Oh it's no, he misspaced it. Yeah. yeah, if you misspace it like that, you have to either full charge and wait for the jump out, or, or just full charge and full charge. But hey, great roll read by Unleash there, catching that roll right there with F Smash, not getting the tipper, but it was enough to take it. And right now, yeah, he's trying to get around the shield. Um, yeah. Zelda. What's unfortunate is that Zelda's lacking in boxing options. So what Riot's like trying to do here is trying to go to one side of the stage, uh, throw out Phantom to take up like the, the option that is like, okay, I can get close and then Phantom's gonna cover me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if Unleash knows this or not, but you can get rid of Phantom by literally just, just grabbing Zelda. You can grab him too. Yeah. You don't even have to fumble. Riot told me that after he beat me at uh, <laughs> one of the Game Underground monthlies. <laughs> hey, by the way. <laughs> hey, by the way. This right, movie yeah, good with? shark. But hey, yeah, great shark by Riot there. There's, um, a, there's a very generous hitbox with mm -hmm. um, with that up there. It was just a smart read on his end because the last time he caught Unleashed with the second hit of Uppy, so he was like, oh, so you're comfortable with not shielding at ledge. Like, here's this. And took a stock for it. Yep, just backing in and backing out. <laughs> yeah, it's Unleashed has him at that percent. Up throw up air, not going to connect. Neutral B to stall the momentum was smart there. Unleashed barely didn't get the second jump off. Great snap to ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with a splatter shot to try and sway his uh, angle a little bit. Not strong hit. Yeah, and he's at 151 right now, so this is just... Pretty much anything Riot gets right now is just like a blessing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he went for it. He's not alive from that, yeah. Yeah, Zelda like... um, see, like, seems a lot more vulnerable than people think when she uppies. That yep. like 70. Yep. That was like, oh, that was borderline blast zone. Anyway. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That was a snipe on his end. Yep. I'm just surprised. Like, I didn't expect to see a Unleashed stock taken that quickly. That's the thing, though. When you play a character with such um, a versatile, like, versatile and powerful recovery, like with Inklings, right? It's like sometimes you kind of get you comfortable know, with that. You get, you get comfortable like... with just kind of fade back, set myself up, recover, and then you get called out. Right. Like one and time and you die at like 50 for it. And that's exactly what we saw right there from Riot. Great recognition. And going into this last stock right now, about even as we saw at the start of the game, Unleashed using a splatter shot. I like what he's doing. He's, he's trying to use splatter shot in a way that pushes Riot so that Riot has to land with some sort of option, has to, yep. has to commit to something. Yep. But he's not getting the grabs off to make the edge traps count. So here's straight to ledge. Uh, so got ink. Any damage it was gonna be, uh, it's gonna hurt at this point at this juncture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he went, he went for roll to roller there, which kind of sounds dumb, but he was doing it because he wanted Riot to think that he was going for roll to grab. Yeah. So he, he was predicting like a spot dodge of some sorts, or I don't know. Just in but, these like last hit situations, people just trip up. Yeah. Like sometimes when people roll, the opponent instinctually rolls as well to try and like keep space. Ooh. Yeah, okay. See him pull right up. Uh, Unleash is actually very good with that. Um, Did he get the parry or no? I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. Uh, Unleash is very good at just kind of throwing out up smash. Like, doesn't go for like a roller into up smash. It's always, uh, sometimes he'll go for a jump read. Yep. He'll be like, he'll, he'll be boxing you and he's like, and you're gonna jump now and then you're gone. Right. Or then like, get he knows, he's like, they're gonna drop shield, do an option and then just, he just get poked. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Kalos and Town and City are gonna be the bands. Uh, I, I, I kind of agree with it. Kalos, Kalos is kind of good for Zelda, like in this matchup, and is, in my opinion, one of England's like worst stages. Town and City, you don't have up throw up here to kill, like because the blast zones are so big. You have you have the platforms like she can shark. She she can do a lot on that stage. And yeah, 
getting in the game too. Same characters for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. I've never seen Riot play another character in Battlefield yeah, exactly. though. Um, yeah, wants to use um, Phantom more for um, these platforms because uh, it can. Mm -hmm. The sword just goes right through that entire. It makes movement awkward. It makes closing the gap awkward. Oh, controller issue. Are they just resetting? Or are they? Well, I guess we can talk about. Yeah, we can talk about the stage while they're doing this. Um, yeah, Unleash just looks very puzzled. <laughs> um, but yeah, Battlefield uh, in this matchup in particular, like you were saying, it's a lot harder to close the gap for Inkling. It's a lot easier to use Phantom for for just kind yeah. of creating that kind of yeah. consistent pressure. Zelda Nair becomes a lot more um, usable as well mm -hmm. for Sharking. Uh, we saw a lot of Riot um, crossing up on shields and now being able to kind of like move through and get behind them on a plat mm -hmm. even better. Yeah, a little it's also really hard to get off platforms in this game for a lot of people. Um, and Zelda up smash oh. will hit, we'll hit the platform. It's a scary move. You don't think you get hit yeah. by it, and then you get hit by it. Yeah, uh, Zelda's F smash actually terrifies me because it's like yep. there's like so little lag to it. It's like I found I found it sometimes very hard to punish unless it's like most F smash, but like a lot of them at once. Yeah, it's like da 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 da. <laughs> and uh, a Zelda, if Zelda whiffs it, they almost always roll back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they was like always. and okay. All right, actual game two, actual game two. All right, starting out right with the Phantom to Nair, like you said, uh, gonna be a lot more potent on the stage. Yeah, he's just, he's really just using the two moves that we <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it works. Get underneath the platform so you have, you can cover yourself from behind, put Phantom out in front of you, then Inkling's forced to either try and get through Phantom before the hit comes out, or just wait. Mm -hmm. uh, Zelda Neutral B is actually just like, it's not as good as it was in Smash 4, uh, my opinion, but like, it's still like very good. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's just really good with covering spot dodges. Wow. Yep. Now he's now. Yeah. He's just co come back underneath the platform and just come to me. Mm -hmm. With, with a lead like this, like Riot has no um, incentive to approach. Mm -hmm. And yeah, seventy percent right now on Riot. Gonna be getting that forward smash. Not gonna be killing because it's battlefield. Um, however, down un smash. F down smash is gonna take it. Zelda so down smash actually like super cheeky move because mm -hmm. like you almost never like sometimes you just don't see it come out. In the mess of Phantom and um, other hitboxes coming out, it just slides in. Mm -hmm. but yeah, great read by Riot right there. Getting a really strong lead right now as well in the second stock. Oh, roller? Doesn't get the shield up Not going to mess it up that time. Yeah, that's one of those things. It takes so long for shield to come up in this game. I feel like Riot like, saw it. He like rolled, and he was immediately like he was immediately holding shield. He just didn't come out in time. Yeah, it's just Riot just has to create this barrier right now. That only okay, that's not good for you. Yeah, Phantom. Ooh, tries not, to not go for like the uh, the edge guard there with the neutral B. Actually, a really smart option. Yep. Uh, the splatter shot did not send uh, Riot far enough away. He just gets swift punish. Yeah, now it's a full stock lead for Riot right now. Inkling jab gonna come out, get him that stage control. He's he is painted in ink right now though. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah, any damage is gonna hurt. But Riot's implementing like a slight usage of uh, the Zelda. I, I forget what it's called, but Zelda neutral B into his neutral. Neighbors love. Wow, you're actually a genius, and so is him <laughs> for going for that roller read. But uh, yeah, he's implementing uh, that into his neutral <laughs> <laughs> to to get reflectors off occasionally because he's recognizing, hey, Unleash is going for this, and if I go for a reflector and it hits him, good. If I go reflect for a reflector and it hits his neutral B, even better because it gets ink on him. Oof, unlucky. F smash. Trapped that ledge right now. Yeah, it's like I said, one of those moments like we finally see like Riot like every time he's been struggling, it's because he's too. Mm. Oh my, that's it. You got tipped. Good stuff to unleash. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those things where Zelda, if you are past the point where she can, for Chris, uh -oh. uh, once you you're past the point yeah. for um, her being able to set out Phantom and you're in her zone and you're either going for a jab or you're going for a grab, um, she's just hard pressed to do anything besides neutral B or jump away. Mm -hmm. She, he just got trapped. 